Known to be the man behind the country's famous bee, Tony Tan Kak Chong is the another rags to riches story. From owning a small ice cream franchise to heading some of the Philippines' most famous food chains, especially the Jollibee. Tony Tan Kak Chong was born third of seven siblings. He was from a poor family in China who immigrated to the Philippines in hope that they may have a better life. He graduated in the University of Santo Tomas with a degree of chemical engineering. In 1975, he was 22 years old. With the help of his family, they used their savings to invest their money to purchase two franchises of the ice cream house. It was called Kubao Ice Cream House and Kiapo Ice Cream House. Two years later, he added hamburgers, fried chicken, and spaghetti to the menu. His motivation is always searching for really good tasting food that he thinks the reason why they differs from other fast food chains. Immediately, the hamburgers and other hot meals were outselling the ice cream. Tony realized he needed a brand name, a symbol to represent his new business venture. They came up with the bees since bees are known for its hard work to produce one of life's sweetest things, honey. In addition, he also wanted to incorporate the brand with happiness as it reminded him of the Filipino culture, fun and happy all times. The number one fast food chain in the world came into the picture. International brand McDonald's was making an entry in the Philippines. But failed to take Jollibee's spot as the number one fast food chain industry in the country. Tony knew and deeply understand the Filipino culture. He knew the Filipino taste. Sweet. By incorporating the sweet blend as their specialty, Jollibee was able to prosper. Kaktiong ranked 6th in the Forbes Philippines 53 chess. He was also awarded the Entrepreneur of the Year and the Ernst and the Young Entrepreneur of the Year in 2004. Dream big and put your dreams into action. You will inevitably make mistakes. But don't be scared to make mistakes. Just be quick in realizing the mistakes and correcting them as best and as fast as you can. Learn from each mistake and it will not be a waste of your time. So to you all who are this nation's and this world's current and future entrepreneurs, leaders, and innovators, see if you can find that state of mind and feel it because with this in your arsenal, anything is possible.